This video is how to deal with stainless steel extensions in a traditional shrink heat machine. A stainless steel, um, because how the machine works, it's a microwave. Stainless steel reacts at a different frequency than H13 does, which we normally make most tool holders out of. So you show this, I have a stainless steel extension here, this half inch. We only run about 22 seconds. We're going to run up to 30. Hot, it's just hot enough you can get the cutter, but as far as we got it, it's stuck. And we're at 217 degrees. For this to work properly, we really need to achieve um, a, a full 300 degrees. And um, in our current stuff, we can't do that because the stainless steel is sweating off the um, heat faster than it can absorb it. This is a 30 second cooling cycle. Back down to the 34 degrees, or sorry, 74 degrees. Now a cheap and dirty way to get this out is we need something that's gonna act as a heat sink to transfer the heat into it. So what I did is, is the nose is about 5 eighths, so I went to inventory and I grabbed a, a 5 eighths ID ER25 collet. And I want something that's gonna make surface contact on there. Take back down 22 seconds. The steam coming off is the coolant from the cooling cycle is burning off of it. As you can see, the cutter just dropped. Pull our cutter out. Five hundred and eight degrees. As you can see, the cutter dropped before we got to the end of the cycle time of twenty-two seconds. So possibly we could lower this to twenty, maybe eighteen seconds, and still get the cutters out. Now stainless steel has a lower temperature threshold than H thirteen. So we don't want to be heating it, overheating it if we don't have to. Technically, we're overheating the collet on the outside, which is transferring the heat in. But we want our tools to last as long as possible, so we the temperature under control. And back down to 74 degrees. So there is how we deal with stainless steel extensions in a machine designed for H13 tool steel.